ACDC's first urban renewal district, the Central District, was formed in 1989 and has seen great success in igniting economic growth and development. It started here at the intersection of 8th and Grove Streets with a single tree. Downtown Boise has grown up around the Grove Plaza. The Grove Plaza uh, is just uh, such an excellent representative of what uh, urban renewal and CCDC has been able to do to downtown. Many of the projects in the Central District, the core of downtown Boise, can be traced back here, a gathering place built with the reinvestment of public funds. CCDC utilized an innovative type of public contracting for the Grove Plaza renovation called Construction Manager General Contractor, or CMGC. You're able to select a person who is the best fit for your agency, uh, the best qualified within any certain area that you've determined is important on that project. We took 12 months before ever picking up a pencil or putting in a shovel and talk to the community. What we learned from the public was that they wanted an enhanced user experience that is supported by modern technology and more features that they can engage with. What that resulted in is um, a new public Wi-Fi system, uh, public restrooms. The fountain has a lot of the same characteristics as before, but it's way more interactive and the kids are gonna go bananas over this thing. It's gonna be great. It cultivates more commerce and more people wanna come and invest and have a shop there. And, and um, so the public's attracted there, the businesses come and you get a nice mix. The public investment has really spurred a tremendous amount of private activity that makes the difference. Adjacent to the plaza is a brand new convention center expansion that CCDC along with our partner Greater Boise Auditorium District has financed. So when you combine that with what the Gardner Company has done with VRT, with the Main Street Station, and with bringing Boise State downtown and Clearwater Analytics, you know, jumping in and making its world headquarters right there on the Grove Plaza, it makes for a really incredible economy. After 30 years, the Central District reached its sunset. The additional tax value that has been generated from redevelopment efforts will go to the existing taxing district starting in 2019. During the life of the district, there's seven taxing districts. They continue to get this amount of property tax revenue. The theory is it's going to take a while for some activity to happen, but over, the, over time it will hopefully get to the point where it does really start taking off. That comes to CCDC, and that's called the increment value. And all this money goes ba right back into the district. The increment value of the money generated from property taxes in the downtown core and used for public improvements inside this district now go back to the community. That includes uh, the city of Boise, of course, Ada County, Boise School District, and there's also the Ada County Highway District, the Emergency Medical Services District that overlays the entire county, as well as the Mosquito Abatement District and the College of Western Idaho District. And as the Central District area moves off the list, the CCDC team looks ahead. CCDC, catalyzing economic growth, urban development, and healthy community design.